Let us pray. Glory to the Father, the God of love, who created us, who continually preserves and sustains us, who has loved us with an everlasting love, and given us the light of the knowledge of his glory in the face of Jesus Christ. Blessed be God for ever. Glory to Jesus Christ our Saviour, who, though he was rich, yet for our sake became poor, and was tested in every way as we are, yet without sin, who proclaimed the good news of the kingdom, and was obedient to the point of death, even death, on a cross, who was raised from the dead, and is alive for ever, and has opened the kingdom of heaven to all who trust in him who is seated at God's right hand in glory, and will come to be our judge. Blessed be God for ever. Glory to the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, by whom we are born into the family of God, and made members of the body of Christ, whose witness confirms us, whose wisdom teaches us, whose power enables us, who will do for us more than we can ask or think. Blessed be God for ever. To the one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be praise and glory for ever. Amen. God of grace, through the mediation of your Son, you call us into a new covenant. Help us, therefore, to draw near with faith and join ourselves in a perpetual covenant with you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we have a reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 2. Hear the Gospel of Christ. Glory to Christ our Saviour. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and we have come to pay him homage. When the King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him, and calling together the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the hand of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for from you shall come a ruler who is to be shepherd, of my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men, and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go, and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go, and pay in hom homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until they stopped at the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh, and, having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. We join together in singing the hymn, 
as with gladness men of old.